This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today's Bible reading is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3, and I read in Jesus' name. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit from the trees in the garden, but about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, You must not eat it or touch it, or you will die. No, you will not die, the serpent said to the woman. In fact, God knows that when you eat it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food and delightful to look at, and it was desirable for obtaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruits and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. So the Lord God called out to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Then he said, Who told you that you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Then the man replied, The woman you gave me to be with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than any livestock and more than any wild animal. You will move on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life. I will put hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you he will strike his heel. He said to the woman, I will intensify your labor pains. You will bear children with painful effort. Your desire will be for your husband, yet he will rule over you. And he said to the man, Because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, do not eat from it. The ground is cursed because of you. You will eat from it by means of painful labor all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. You will eat bread by sweat of your brow until you return to the ground, since you were taken from it. For you are dust, and you will return to dust. The man and his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all the living things, the man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all the living. The Lord God made clothing from skins for the man and his wife, and he clothed them. The Lord God said, Since this man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil, he must not reach out, take from the tree of life, eat and live forever. So the Lord God sent him away from the Garden of Eden to walk the ground from which he was taken. He drove the man out and stationed the cherubim and the flaming, whirling sword east of the Garden of Eden to guard the way to the tree of life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, eternal rock of ages, we thank you for today. Thank you for your word that has come expressly this morning. The entrance of your word brings light and understanding. And I pray this morning, Father, that you will shed light on this word that we are about to discuss today in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, for everyone that you have destined to listen to this message, that they will get the opportunity to listen to this message and be blessed by it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
I commit myself into your hands, O oh God. Please help me, Lord. Make my mouth like the pen of a red writer. Speak to me and speak through me. And let all glory be returned to you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. So this story that we just read from the book of Genesis chapter 3 is a very popular one. It's one that, like everybody, I believe that all Christians know about. It is the fall of man and how it all started. Adam and Eve. <laughs> it's a very popular one. The story of Adam and Eve and how, you know, we got to where we are today <laughs> as a people. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The temptation. How Eve fell into, you know, temptation. Fell for the tricks of the enemy at the fruit from the tree that God had commanded them not to eat from. The devil has been corny from day one, not today. <laughs> From the get-go, the devil has been corny and proud and has always been a liar. And that's why he's called the father of all lies. Praise the name of the Lord. And Eve, being so naive and innocent, fell for the trick of the enemy and offered the same fruit to her husband, Adam. And, you know, everything changed from that time on. Humanity never ever remained the same. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is very, um, like I said, it's something, it's a story that everybody is very popular. You know, even non-Christians know that the story of Adam and Eve and what happened in the Garden of Eden. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, we are still, <laughs> we are still um, going through some of the things that, you know, God pronounced there, you know, on, on, on man and his wife. Like having a baby, having a child, you know, it was never God's original plan for a woman to have a baby in pain, to go through all that label pain and all of that stuff. But this is the origin. This was where it all started from. That, you know, for a woman to have a baby, she has to go through labor pain to bring a child into the world. And then man has to work and work. It used to be that, you know, it used to be manna in those days. Man didn't have to work. Adam didn't have to work to, to feed, to eat. Manna was provided. There was divine provision for man. But because of what happened in this garden, which we just read, you know, God said that before you would eat, you would labor. You would, you know toil and work hard praise the name of the lord before you can put food on your table and that's what we all experience today we have to work and work you know but grace mercy grace you see god in his infinite mercy still loves us irrespective of what we what we have done praise the name of the lord did you notice that even after they changed the whole dynamic of what God did, because this wasn't God origin, God's original plan. God's original plan was for man to live forever, for man to not have to work, just enjoy, you know, what he has created, enjoy life, just enjoy life, live forever, not have to work, not have to have babies in pain and stuff like that. But even after God cursed man, and um the ground and all of that and and the serpent notice in verse 20 that he made clothing for them he still made clothing for them he didn't destroy them and say okay you know what you've messed up everything that i you know spent all this time to create now die he didn't do that he didn't say okay just go back and let me start again he still Love them. He still showed them love and care. He still made clothing for them. The Bible says that the Lord made clothing for them from skins, you know, from 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 um, skins. He says here. Let me read that. The Lord made clothing from skins for the man and his wife, and he clothed them. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's when he now said, 
since man has become like one of us, he must not reach out to take from the tree of life, eat forever and live forever. So that all changed from that point on. But then again, he watched after them. He still provided for them. He was still their God. He still took care of them. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So basically, today, because some people ask, oh, I'm not a, I, I've never sinned. Why, why should I call myself? Some people don't believe that they're sinners. They don't understand the concept of how, you know, you are already a sinner by the way of what happened in this garden. This is exactly the origin. This is exactly how man automatically inherited a sinful nature. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But thank God for Jesus. God in his infinite mercy sent his son Jesus Christ to take away or to redeem us and bring us back to him. Praise the name of the Lord. Which is why all who come to the knowledge of Christ and come to acknowledge Jesus Christ and Lord and personal Savior, they are saved. They don't have to die. Even though the flesh dies in this world, they live, you know, they have an eternal life. They have the promise of eternal life because you are now in Christ. You are now a new creature. The Adamic nature dies. The minute you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior, this Adamic nature, this sinful nature that we inherited from the Garden of Eden dies and you are now a new creature and you have eternal life in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm trying to explain it like, you know, just in case we have first time Christians, new born again Christians that are listening to this podcast. This is how you become saved from what happened from the curse or what happened in the Garden of Eden by accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior, acknowledging that Jesus is Lord and believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. So you are now new. Everything here, all the curse and everything that Adam, um, that we inherited through Adam is now forgiven you and you're now a new creature and you have the life of Christ, which is eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So basically this morning, I want you to make um, conscious effort to know that you are saved by grace. You are saved by the blood of Jesus. You are saved when you acknowledge Jesus as your Lord and Savior, which is why it's so important for us to, you know, walk with Christ, walk in, you know, with him, abide in him. He says, abide in me. If you abide in me, I will abide in you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we don't want to continue to live in this Adamic nature. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to be that new creature that God has created us to be. We want to accept the finished work of Calvary that Jesus came to do for us. The blood that was shed for us on the mouth of on you know on the cross of Calvary has redeemed us from this cost, from the cost of death, eternal death. Praise the name of the Lord. So that even when a Christian dies, it's only the flesh that dies, but they have the promise of eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is the whole essence of Christianity. This is the whole essence of what we do to make sure that, you know, you don't miss the opportunity. You don't, you don't continue to be deceived by the enemy. That this, this thing that the devil did in the mount, in, in, in the garden of Eden does not continue. You don't have to continue under that course you don't have to end you know like leave out what you deserve because because adam was that's the father that's our like our our great 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 grandfather our ancestors we don't have to leave under this course because jesus christ has come to redeem us from this curse he became the curse nailed it to the cross and gave us eternal life Praise the name of the Lord. I hope I've done a good job of explaining this to, you know, our baby Christians out there. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. It's uzooachi at gmail.com. I will be more than happy to pray with you and to have, you know, um, more sessions with you. And, you know, just um, explain and preach to you as the Holy Spirit would help me. In Jesus' name. Amen. I believe that this morning we have been reminded of our 
of where it all started from. We have been reminded of our um, nature, original nature, but also more importantly, reminded that we are saved by Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ and the finished work of Calvary. We're also reminded that the enemy, the, the lies and the trick of the enemy did not start today. He's always been a, a liar. He will always be a liar. So when, when the enemy presents something that is seemingly good to you, <laughs> think twice. Know that the tricks of the enemy did not start today. Okay? But God has given us the Holy Spirit to teach us and help us to discern and help us to make the right choices and wise decisions. And that's why it's so important that you lean on the Holy Spirit in all that you do. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, eternal rock of ages, I thank you for your word today. I thank you for how you have helped us, O oh God, and broken this word down to us, to our understanding. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, Father, that everyone who has listened to this message, O oh Lord my God, will be blessed by it, and not only blessed by it, but will also spend time in appreciation, thanking you, thanking you for all that you have done, saving us from this Adamic curse and bringing us into the knowledge and sonship of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Any man, any woman that is still under the curse of the enemy, my Father, my God, I pray that by your anointing and your mercy, your grace and your presence in this place, O oh God, will set them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as they surrender their lives to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, there, child of God, you have it. Go out and remember that Jesus loves you in all that you do. You have been set free by the blood of Jesus. Continue to live a life of holiness, a life that is dedicated to God. And, you know, just try to stay away from sin. Try to stay away from anything that, do that doesn't please God. The Holy Spirit is there with you. Once you're stepping out of line, once you're doing anything that is not pleasing to God, the Holy Spirit will always nod you and say, hey, go this way. Hey do this because the bible says that you'll hear a still small voice telling you which way to go okay all right then thank you very much for listening to the podcast today and i pray that you have a blessed day shalom <music>